Dear Taurus, welcome back to Saturated in Love VIP Tarot, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. I'm just here with another weekly message. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the message ahead of the message. VIPs, your love and support each and every week help grow the channel. Your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares are priceless to me. Seriously, I'm so grateful. We are in Valentine's Day week, so I hope the lovers are feeling loved. I hope that the singles are feeling warm, feeling of happiness despite not having a partner. Oh dear Taurus, wherever you are, I wish you an abundance and blessings. This season and always, oh dear Taurus, we have death, transformation, dying to your old self, being reborn anew. Death card, Taurus. This means that you are now at a different juncture. And I just love this Queen of Cups here staring at us at the bottom of the deck for overall energy. So a lot of you have died to being lonely. A lot of you are welcoming love into your life so much so you've evolved as royalty in love. Okay, this is the energy for you this season. Wow, yes, confirmed by the King of Cups. Dear Taurus, we have a royal suit. The best there is, emotional cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You could also have this placement in your chart somewhere. Oh, dear Taurus, this is an emotional, beautiful, gratifying, pleasurable experience that is on the horizon for you when the King and the Queen of Cups appear. This is a couple who is secure in love, who trusts one another, even from afar. This is where long distance relationships can work and flourish. This is where a bond is strengthened. Oh, dear Taurus. Unconscious factors at play, the sun, that joy, the sun, the best, the best. Wow, this is highly optimistic. You have the sun. So on the brink of death, you are right now, dear Taurus, for those of you who all this good stuff sounds foreign to. Okay, dear Taurus, you are at a transformative state, so you may not see it, but just over the cliff there, there are new people, new places, New, new things to embark on, okay? You're leaving the land of the dead and you're moving on to the land of the living. Beneath this horse's feet are human remains, skeletal remains here. And then you see the women who are alive. This woman is even pregnant here, okay? That is the moving forward to life. And now we have King of Cups as what helps you. A lot of you are gonna find true love in this season, the sun, joy, unconsciously present, shining a light upon you in your life. Blessings in abundance to come, dear Taurus. In your recent past, nine of swords, anxiety in your recent past. Could have been dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini. Anxiety, stress, high stress atmosphere when the nine of swords appears. Okay, so volatile situations and relationships or the like. We're in your recent past, dear Taurus. What's at the crown of the situation today? The star, Aquarius energy, major arcana, just like the sun was major arcana as well. The star, a muse. You are definitely into someone or someone is gonna walk into your life. It could be this week, my goodness. They're just because the energies are so highly, highly palpable here. Highly visible through the cards. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The star is here. So you're going to be inspired again. You're going to be hopeful again in love, particularly. Remember, King and Queen of Cups here. Okay, there's someone in your sphere of influence that is entering to bring you to the royalty that you deserve, that you desire. In your near future, dear Taurus, we have the High Priestess. Cancer energy, another major arcana. So the High Priestess is all-knowing. She's highly intuitive and very feminine. So tapping into um, a space where you can feel sensitive, you can welcome love and be adored. That's all happening again. How you view yourself in this situation, dear Taurus. Ace of Wands, a new opportunity. The Ace is a fresh start. 
it's back at one. You okay, CJ? Pick up, pick up. Look. Fix that. All right. Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian Energy presents. And it's grasping life at the hands, grasping a new chance, a new endeavor, and an opportunity. Okay, so that's how you view yourself. Taking an opportunity with love. Being passionate enough to start over again. Because this time it seems like it would be more so significantly real. Oh, dear Taurus, I wish you all the best. This is a high palpable love for you. And we have how others view you. Three of cups, wow. So for some, there could be someone that you're in love with who has a situation where they're with another individual. Um, and you could be aware of this and they're aware that you're aware. More cups, so more, more emotions surrounding this pair. So sometimes, you know, you're not with the ones you truly love. Dear Taurus, I'm talking to someone. But it's clear that this love is real and it's a deep, profound love. Your hope or your fear, the chariot, of course, to move towards each other, cancer energy. Wow, so lots of water, you guys. Just, just, just saying. Lots of water. And now we have... Okay, sweetie. Thanks. No more. Now we have the chariot. This is your hope. Black and white. Yin and yang. To move towards the person who completes you, who satisfies you, who makes you feel whole, dear, dear Taurus. Now that's exactly what we have with the chariot. Excuse me. Final outcome, dear Taurus. Queen of Pentacles beautiful. Let me go ahead and read from the Lover's Tower, the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, I love this for you because this is your energy. Pentacles is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy as a final outcome. You're going to be in your own bag. You're, you're going to be in your own nest egg. You're going to be highly evolved. You have the Queen of Cups. We had the, um, the Queen of Cups overall energy bottom of the deck. Now we have Queen of Pentacles as your final outcome. This is somebody who's highly successful. This new relationship that's entering for you, that's coming in for you, or this person that you're already present with, this is a long-standing, satisfying um, union. The, this has high potential to flourish, dear Taurus. But let me stop talking about it and let me let you hear it. Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles represents a kind, practical, and loving woman. This is you. This is your final outcome. She expresses her sensuality through jewelry, stylish clothes, and lingering perfumes. She appreciates good food and delicious wines. Her tastes tend to be luxurious, although her innate practicality will see her through phases of limitation. She is usually hardworking and ambitious, qualities which ensure her security. She dislikes poverty and failure, but will not reject someone just because they're struggling. She will be supportive if she believes someone can triumph over adversity. She will not tolerate mean-spirited individuals for long, however. She prefers long-term liaisons, which is exactly what's coming through for you, dear Taurus. And although seductive... Yes, CJ? Just a moment. And although seductive is rarely a real flirt, she assesses others quite shrewdly. If you pass, she will be loyal to you for a very long time. So, dear Taurus, you end up in a good practical state of feeling highly um, mature, successful, secure. And you will welcome this King of Cups. You will welcome this love in so long as he, he she is deemed worthy. The sun is here. Don't forget unconscious factors. So this person, whoever's on your mind, if there's someone on your mind at the sound of my voice, they can definitely deliver all that joy. The, the high expectation you have of them, they can deliver. Oh, dear Taurus. Let's get a final romance advice card. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And VIPs, if you'd like a reading, feel free to hit me up. Happy Valentine's Day again. And we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, dear Taurus. Yep, queen of pentacles. Working, you're working on yourself for sure. And we have children. Your love life is being affected by children, dear Taurus. 
Some may want children. Some may have children together with this person. And release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So what this means to me is that, remember? Wow, message. Come on now. First card out was death. It was you dying to your old self, your old situation. I told you there were skeletal remains on the ground beneath this horse's feet. Moving towards life. Moving towards um, wholeness here. We had a, a pregnant lady here just in the corner. And so, dear Taurus, you're moving on to a new and better love, okay? Release your ex. That is the final message. That is your message for this week. Dear Taurus, again, hit me up for your personal readings and be blessed. Peace.